Hi, Ivan. Hi, Anjali. Welcome to Storytellers Are Us, the origin story. We are so excited to have the two of you with us here today, especially because both of you are such famously reclusive, private uh, filmmakers who we seldom see on screen. So very, very happy to have both of you here. And, you know, we also wanted the two of you to meet because... Um... I remember that when Anjali was on the jury for the gender awards at Mami, which you won, Ivan, like I, I loved Sony, uh, but, uh, you know, I didn't know what kind of an impact. I think Anjali was very impacted by the film and she spoke so eloquently about it. And uh, therefore, you know, that was, I think, the seed that was there in our head. Uh, when your new film, Milestone, started to do the festival circuit, we were very sure that we wanted to get the two of you together and we wanted her to watch Milestone. So Anjali, I would like to just uh, request you to tell us your reaction to Sony and then take the conversation forward with Ivan. I had not heard of Sony. I had not heard of it. I had not known of it. Nothing at all. So for me, it was a blank slate. No expectations. I just sat there in front of this screen and I was blown away. Literally by the authenticity of it for me it spoke for very real world and there was something so so complex and yet so deceptively simple when you watch it. And that combination is is very rare. It really sort of literally grabbed me by the collar and made me say, sit up and watch this for full attention. And I loved it. I mean I completely loved it because there is a lot of beautiful craft which is still very much within the story you're trying to tell. It's not sort of this, this look at me kind of craft, not that over. It's, it's at, at, at a very subliminal level and you don't even realize the craft until you're, you're well into the film, which is, which is a great achievement for, uh, for any filmmaker. And this, I believe, is your first feature. So big, big compliments to you for that, you and your team. Because I, I also yeah. felt every department had worked very beautifully. The synergy had uh, really shown up in, within the frame. And that's uh, that's really remarkable. I think I, I, and uh, congratulations on winning that award. Yeah. We loved it. There, were, there, were, there was no, no doubt it was a unanimous decision. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for those kind words. Uh, yes, it's always a team effort. Um, I'm just there to kind of, you know, guide, um, you know, my team. And, uh, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a very fulfilling experience. As a maker, when you're writing something, at a certain point you decide, okay, this is my content. This is the form in which I will tell it. Was there any doubt that this is the right form to tell the story? Were you ever questioning yourself? Or were you ever feeling like you were sort of shape-shifting too much to just fit into the form? Did any of that kind of, you know, uh, doubt creep in at any stage? I would say, no, I, I never really uh, had any doubt that I, uh, whether I wanted to do it this way. That I was very certain about, that yes, this is, I, I don't mind failing, but this is, this is uh, precisely how I would like to uh, just go about uh, this film. Very early, I actually made the decision that uh, I'm going to do this in single shots. I mean, one shot for one, one space. It did seem kind of um, kind of formulaic sort of uh, structure. That is mm -hmm. this even necessary? It was um, very, very important because I wanted to kind of convey my experience of observing how things worked. And um, I think I was also aware that, you know, this is going to be something that might turn some people off because, you know, there are uh, moments in a film where you actually want to cut to a specific reaction or you want to cut to a specific, uh, uh, even a specific thing um, in, in, in a frame or in a space. But here, I, I, I thought that because it's about these two characters, so as long as I'm following these two characters, as long as I'm kind of exploring uh, uh, the spaces with them, 
I would be able to kind of um, achieve my goal of inviting the audience to kind of place themselves in their shoes. That was the whole idea. The idea. You, you've done it beautifully. Done it beautifully because there are other examples of such films where we've seen this, this kind of taking. But I have to admit that there are many examples of it seeming very laboured as well. Yeah. But here, you you had a very interesting mix of, of technique and performances. Where sometimes when I was keen to to be closer to a character, you know that that was happening organically. and uh, you know that that can kind of fluidity in the frame really permitted that at the same yeah. time not compromising the whole observational quality about you know the whole narrative which was uh, the very fine line and i think you got it right there and it's so, proven so right that you you've carried it into milestone as well not for the entire film yeah not for the entire <laughs> uh, i think that would have been that would have been unfair to both films <laughs> if i <laughs> no because it. because it's also no there there is um, there is a lot of value in that kind of approach right i mean i think there are things which are very different about both films both you know, being being completely different uh, subjects and things but there are also things there is a signature which uh, you know of that observation quality of that yeah. intimacy i think uh, those are aspects which come with you as a filmmaker possibly you know it's 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 too early for me to tell because these are just two films also but that signature is strong and and uh, as a member of the audience you know, i was welcoming it having had one good experience you know i was very happy to follow him around the track and walk around all <laughs> over the place it it just felt like okay i'm at home this is fine you know, the person's leading me to where i have to go to so tell us tell us about me but this film is we're kind of entering a very different universe it's a huge departure from uh, what uh, uh i did previously with sony and um but yes i mean the the idea of sticking with a character and then exploring uh you know that character's world uh through their perspective i think that that approach and that kind of uh, uh idea it um it seemed yes it will it will uh it will work in this one as well because we, we i mean the the um it's a very personal story it's mm-hmm. uh, it's about the human experience we are kind of um you know going beyond uh just the uh you know just the occupation of that character okay this is what the character does so we're kind of going beyond that um but for this one i think uh, i felt that this had to be more introspective the story kind of was yelling at me to kind of keep in mind that here we have to this is more about reflection this is more about the past and uh more about um you know the, the decisions that you have already taken and you know the, where you find yourself in life so in that sense it was um it was kind of um it, it was different very very different from uh, from sony and uh for that reason i thought we have to kind of um you know have those shots where we're actually ju- uh, not just kind of you know exploring space with the with the character but we also have to kind of sit with the character and then just yes. kind of uh very close range um shots of um maybe uh you know character pondering something or uh you know reacting to certain moments that connection with the character uh i think uh, of course was built with that approach of following the character through spaces but at times if you wanted to if you wanted to understand or if you wanted to kind of feel what the character is feeling i think it was um here it was um important to actually just have an entire frame occupied with just the face of the character because i i also kind of felt here the character is not as um um the character of uh, galib is passive in a lot of ways like you know we we kind of see things happening uh through his perspective but i think he's responding to a lot of the conversations rather than actively 
kind of initiating or actively starting those conversations. Uh, the closest thing that comes to mind is uh, like, uh, you know, Murakami's characters. They're very kind of, you know, it's, it's even when they're in a conversation with somebody, you mostly see them, you mostly see them kind of like passively responding. It's, uh, it's, it's very rare that, uh, you know, they are driving a certain conversation. So, um, so that, so that kind of, uh, because I was aware that this character is kind of, you know, like that, a little passive, uh, I knew that uh, in order to make that connection, there'll be moments where I'll have to just kind of, um, you know, stay on, on him and in very close range and just kind of invite people to think what the character might be thinking at this point. I think it's very brave choice to have a passive main character. It's not an easy thing yeah. ever. And uh, it's very different from your characters in Sony. And uh, that's, that's a very different journey. But also this is a, a portrayal of loss. Of, and so much is hung up in the past. And, and to portray someone who's gone through that loss and capture his present with uh, that observational style is, is, uh, is quite an intense experience. And yet he is a character who is not always sort of, you know, it's, it's not an easy manifestation of what he's feeling. There's a complexity there, which is, which is delicious to, to sit and watch and I'm, I'm sure to film as well. Subscribe to Geomami Mumbai Film Festival and hit the bell icon to keep yourself updated on conversations on Storytellers Are Us, the origin story.